Praise God, praise God, praise God, family. Pastor Baysmore here. This is our Wellness Wednesday prophetic word of encouragement. So thankful that the Lord has ordered your steps this way. I hope that you have had the opportunity to listen to the video that we posted on Monday of this week. And this message that I'm sharing with you today is a continuation of Monday's message. So if you have not already listened to Monday's message, please go to the description box, which is generally underneath the video. Just click on show more. And in the description box, I will have the link to Monday's message so that you can get them threaded together and get a full revelation of what God is speaking to you at this time. So we were in the book of Genesis on Monday, chapter 32, verses 22 through 32. And we were there because our Sunday message was taken from those passages of scripture. And we, we were able to glean uh, from these passages of scripture, uh, the revelation of what God is doing in us as it relates to our identity, as it relates to this uh, cycle that we're in, as it relates to this uh, time that we're in. We're in a Shemitah year, and this uh, speaks to a time of rest. And so you can tell by the title and you can also tell by the messages that are going across your screen uh, that I've shared with you that this is a time of rest, not in any particular order. It's a time of provision. Uh, it's a time uh, that God is really doing a deep work in us, spirit, soul, and body. And we need to be reminded that love strengthens. We love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. We love our neighbor as we love ourselves. But remember that fear weakens. And so we want to be sure that we're in that Christ-centered place of love so that we get that strength that we need. The joy of the Lord is our strength. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And in this time that we're in, we need to be strengthened. And so as we were sharing on Monday, uh, this is a time for you to um, uh, know that God is revealing to you your true identity, that God is revealing to you your your, your true calling, your, your destiny, your purpose. And that uh, for those who have been struggling, struggling for so long with so many issues, uh, struggling once again with perhaps, uh, as I said, identity. Maybe some of you are struggling with addiction. Uh, some of you are uh, struggling with generational issues. Uh, some of you are struggling in ministry, in business, in your marriages, family, relationships, finances. Uh, there's so many areas uh, that the people of God struggle in, even as Jacob uh, struggled. And we need to get to know ourselves. We need really need to get to know ourselves. And when we have this time of rest, when we can have this time of rest, knowing that all of our needs are being supplied, that God supplies all of our need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. If he calls us to a season of rest, he will provide everything that we need while we're in that place of rest. And while you're there in that place of rest, that doesn't mean that you're not doing anything. You're doing whatever the Lord God would have you to do, but you're being sure to take the time, spending time with God, with yourself, and even keeping a journal, uh, just learning who you are, uh, what, how, what God created you for, uh, how you're made. Again, getting away from that image uh, that is not you, that image that's been up, imposed upon you uh, by others, but getting to the true authentic self of who God made you to be, made in his image and in his likeness and with your own unique anointing, your own unique calling. And so you get to know uh, the things that you are passionate about. You, you start getting to know what really excites you. You get to know uh, what uh, moves you uh, to support. Uh, what is it that you're doing that you do and you would do it for forever 
if possible, that it brings joy to your life. This is, you, you know that you were made for this. You can do it uh, and you don't even have to think about it. And think about the things, even just maybe starting with three things, once again, that you really enjoy doing the most and evaluate your feelings. Uh, uh, what emotions do you express the most? Evaluate your thoughts. What is it that you think about the most? Evaluate even your words. What is it that you're speaking? What is it that you're saying? Are, are your words generally uplifting and encouraging, or are you speaking low frequency words, low vibratory words? Evaluate even your health. Uh, is there any stiffness anywhere? Uh, do you have any tightness, any pain? Do you suffer from any chronic conditions? Uh, do you have any systemic conditions? Evaluating yourself. Remember, we're speaking spirit, soul, and body, and I'm not going in any particular order, but all that I'm sharing with you either relates to your spirit, your soul, your body, of course, they all come together for balance. Evaluate your behavior. Once again, what is it that you enjoy doing the most? Uh, uh, what, uh, evaluate your prayer life. Evaluate uh, the time that you spend with God. How much time do you really spend with God? How much do you really pray? Are you only praying when you have problems, uh, when you need answers, or do you just enjoy being in the presence of the Lord and, and, and having your heart be beat in rhythm to his and allowing the Holy Spirit to pray and to intercede on your behalf with groans that cannot uh, be uttered. Have you asked the Lord about your purpose? Um, have you even discovered your purpose? Even ask maybe three people to, to just honestly describe you in detail. And again, you're not dependent upon their opinion, but it gives you an idea of the image that you're projecting, how people see you. And that gives you an idea of maybe where you could be stuck, uh, why you haven't moved forward, why you're still struggling. Think about it. Do you like yourself? Do you love yourself? These kind of questions help us during our time of rest so that we get a, 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 a true idea of who we are and Holy Spirit gives us even greater revelation. But we have to want it. We have to start someplace and Holy Spirit leads us and guides us into all truth. And write as specifically as possible with as much detail as possible, uh, who you think you are authentically. And does this description match your current self? And if not, seek the Lord and ask him to give you the strategies that you need to get your life back on path, back into his good and perfect divine sovereign uh, will for your life. And so as you begin to explore these things, just a few uh, suggestions for you. Of course, Holy Spirit uh, is your guide and he'll, he'll lead and give you even more revelation. But as we were thinking about Jacob wrestling with God, and as we are uh, thinking about this new year that we're in, 5782 on the prophetic biblical calendar, as we're thinking about what this all means, the decade that we're in, so much that we've been sharing over these videos. So we encourage you to go to our channel and just allow the Spirit to lead you to those messages that will give you a greater a sense of where you are in this hour and the plans that God has for you. Remember, His plans are always to prosper you and to give you a hope and a future. Well, this is Pastor Dr. Baysmore. I am just so glad that you made it here to the end. I pray that you will seek the Lord in prayer, allow Him to guide you as it relates to this message, and may you be abundantly blessed. May you find out who you really are in Christ Jesus, and I look forward to when He brings me back again with another prophetic word of encouragement. It's prophetic because it's speaking to your future. It's speaking to where God is taking you. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you.